Hello, welcome to this video. On this occasion, we're going to make a mushroom grain spawn using the spore syringe we made in the last video. For this purpose, we are going to need the following items. If you want to get a spore syringe, check the link in the description. First, we need to soak the grain for 24 hours. This process will trigger the germination of all the endospores and help prevent potential contamination in the future. This time I'll use organic brown rice. I've also used non-organic grains, but organic grains have given me better results. Rye is another highly recommended grain you can try. After 24 hours, we strain the grain and rinse it well. Next, we load water into the pot and bring it to a boil. Once the water is boiling, lower the heat to medium and cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, immediately turn off the fire, strain the grain and cool it with water for some time. Next, spread the grain evenly on a clean dry cloth and let it dry for about 8 to 12 hours. Ensure that there isn't excessive airflow in the area where you are drying the grains. After this period, the exterior of the grain should be dry, while the interior should retain moisture. Next, disinfect all surfaces and tools that will be used using alcohol. After allowing 5 minutes for the alcohol to take effect, place the grain into the pot. Next, transfer the grain to the jars or bags. It's important to fill the jars to approximately 60 to 70% capacity, while the mushroom bags should be filled between 30 and 40%. Then, grab the aluminum foil and disinfect its surface with some alcohol. Next, cut pieces that are the right size to cover the openings of the flasks. Then, cover the lid of the jars with the aluminum foil. I use two layers of aluminum foil for each jar. Next, we proceed to sterilize the grain, but before doing this, I place some metal lids inside the pressure cooker to ensure that the jars or bags do not come into direct contact with the heat source. After that, we put the jars inside the pressure cooker and add approximately 1 to 2 inches of water. Close the pressure cooker, turn on the heat, and let it boil for approximately 2 hours. It's important to ensure that the pressure cooker doesn't run out of water during this time, as this could potentially damage the cooker and cause the jars to burst. Therefore, always check for any burning smell and ensure that you consistently hear the sound of bubbles inside the pressure cooker. After two hours, turn off the heat and allow the pressure cooker to cool at room temperature for at least eight hours. Once the pot is cooled, take out the jars and secure the tin foil lids with rubber bands. Next, place the pieces of paper tape on the lids. Next, 
It's time to inoculate the grain. However, before proceeding, it's necessary to create a sterile workspace. To achieve this, I'm going to boil some water in a pot. This will generate a flow of steam that will help prevent any contamination from entering our jars. Once the water is boiling, I sterilize the syringe needle with a blow torch before injecting the jars. Next, I simply take one of the jars, place it within the steam flow, and inject around 1 cc of the spore solution into it. Then, I cover the hole with tape and proceed to inject another cc of solution into the other injection port. I cover the hole, and this jar is ready to go. Finally, I label the jar and place it in an incubator at a temperature around 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. After about 5 days, you should start to observe the mycelium beginning to colonize the grains. The total colonization time will depend on the species of mushroom you are growing. This is my grain spawn after approximately three weeks in the incubator. As you can see, the mycelium has completely colonized all the grains and it's now ready for the next phase. That's it for today. I hope you've gained some valuable insights from this video. And I wish you the best of luck if you decide to create your own grain spawn. If you're interested in the upcoming stages of this experiment, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.